tilt of the earth was 23.4 degrees and when it is summer in Europe and North America the distance to the sun was over 94.2 million miles tilted towards the sun. But now the North Pole is in England on the south coast at Hoon Bay. If the tilt is the same angle, 23.4, then the heat from the sun come January when the distance is reduced to 92 million miles, then North America, China, parts of India and Europe will face unbearable heat and loss, including Russia and China, of course, uh, Mongolia and other This is what it looked like before the tilt. Tilt is caused by two things, crossing the Milky Way galaxy equator into the northern hemisphere and the return of what some people call Nibiru. It's a uh, small binary star with uh, several planets and it is south of the world near Antarctica, pulling against the As far as the North Star is concerned, it has always been above the Northern Hemisphere. And in ancient times, navigators used it to sail back to England. So sailing south, the star became lower in the sky until past Morocco. It was on the horizon, and further south it was below the horizon. You can see it, could have seen it, from the descending passage of the altar to the Lord, the Great Pyramid. The prophecy here of the pyramid is that one can't see it anymore from the descending passage, then that's the end of time. So since June the 5th, 2013, a new axis of the Earth has settled down over Hoon Bay in England. So the problem the Earth faces is prophecy. Can't be altered. Now the world rejects the Lord, Psalms 118.22, in his second coming. So, even though the Pope Benedict XVI uh, has written and announced that he has met Jesus, spoke to Jesus, and uh, wrote an apostolic letter, which is very important for the Christian world, because 1.2 billion of Christians are Catholic. But because he did that, uh, Joseph uh, of Arathemaia would turn over in his grave seeing that he is now a prisoner in the Vatican. Thanks to uh, Francis, the new Pope, and uh, all the Cardinals. 99% of the Vatican is evil. So maybe you get five or six good men in there and that's it. The rest are Lucifer worshipping. So there's the location in Herne Bay. There it is uh, from space. So what the world order does not do ever is tell you the truth. And I always tell you the truth. So on December the 11th, 2011, at 11.11am 11, 11 Eastern Australia, the solar system travelling at 69,000 kilometres per hour at a 62 degree angle across the equatorial line of the Milky Way galaxy. And here the message is 69. Over. It's also Leonard, and 63 is Isaiah 63. The uh, galaxy is 100,000 light years wide, so it's a mathematical perfection. 1 times pi is pi. Therefore, 100,000 light years is 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 3, off to infinity, which is a never ending number, and is pi. Now, we had cameras set up watching the moon, and at 11.11 it started to flip, and one hour later it was completely upside down at 180 degrees, and then it finally uh, settled down and came back upright, and uh, it's been wobbling back and forth ever since. Coriolis effect is one of the things that uh, is not spoken about either in the news. If you uh, drain water down your tap and you're living in North America or Europe, you find it's now going counterclockwise where it was going. The 
the Earth itself wobbling was uh, prevented by Antarctica. It was like a giant damper. Uh, they use dampers uh, like this if weights hanging in uh, buildings, high-rise buildings, or uh, resisting uh, movement. Now, Antarctica is a ring of mountains enclosing a vast area. The total area is 5.5 million square miles. Uh, it's as large as the continental United States and Australia combined. It is ice and floats in the ocean, pressing down the ocean floor. It's like a giant ship, as all nations are. Um, they sit on the magma. And the magma is uh, where it gets cooler towards the base of these nations becomes a shell and uh, solidified rock. As said, the distance to the sun determines the weather. It's important to understand that the angle of the axis of the Earth is what keeps the temperatures at a life giving level. It's now tipped over uh, with uh, New Zealand for a of North America. Water draining has reversed, as said. Satellite images of the clouds forming will demonstrate the new Earth equator. Uh, I haven't done that yet because we are constantly being knocked off the internet. Um, and uh, it's very, very likely that we might be able to get on the internet again until uh, we work out another way of doing it. Let's stop our mail, let's stop our uh, cell phone. Internet, no matter where we go, they soon crack us down and turn it off. So the uh, world order has been building underground tunnels for 60 years since the end of World War II, and uh, they know because uh, even the Vatican has a telescope called Lucifer in the United States. Now, the threat of nuclear war is a diversion. All magicians draw attention away from what the left wing is doing, as it does the rebel action to the right. So, uh, keep the masses confused like sheep. Top drawing is what the normal uh, orbit of the Earth is around the Sun. See how uh, when it gets close to the 92 million miles in January, of course, each year it's been massive. Europe was tilted away. Now it's tilted towards the sun at 92 million miles. So come January, Europe is in a lot of trouble. So with the new North Pole in South England, the access through to the South Pole is near New Zealand and will be extremely cold. Uh, personally, New Zealand will not be missed. It is the most vile nation with every form of satanic practices imaginable. In the Talmud, the ancient Babylonian mystery, which has caused the uh, Judaism, papacy, Jews to be kicked out of uh, 80 countries for drinking children's blood. The uh, blood contains the soul, and uh, as they don't have a soul, they are drinking the blood of children as the purest Christians have any soul and believe that they can be sustained by the sacrificing of children. Aesthetic and say as it is, they do have a soul. When they talk about uh, doing evil in the Talmud, they say go to another city. Well, in this case, they go to another nation. Fiji and New Zealand are washed with every abomination. Uh, so if this was brought to the surface, uh, where does it been carried out? It'd be like uh, those, uh, numerous service stations in the cities. It's all over the place. Every synagogue has a uh, place of sacrifice. They'll be all totally destroyed. New Zealand is 888 miles between the north and south latitude. Therefore, it's a very, very chosen 
place for the sacrificing of children because they're saying that we can do this right in the area of the earth which is more Christian churches than anywhere else in the world per capita. And uh, what's Jesus doing about it? Nothing. Well, we'll see about that. Our biggest enemy is Jesus Christ. None will help him. But we've got a handful of saints. Now, New Zealand is almost in uh, the Antarctic situation with very cold and warm and things get so they will be completely wiped out and we'll see the change in the earth attitude towards the That's what it looks like. The new equator running around the center to the South America. Our statue is in the uh, now Australia will be protected and temperatures will go and have gone so far. But much, much further. Tasmania, Melbourne, Adelaide, very, very far. Uh, Sydney is further north and Perth will be livable, but very far from the earth. So further north you go. Warmer it will be in compared to the south of the thing, the new south. Of the now Australia has been reporting temperatures have dropped dramatically uh, for winter, which is in June and July, indicating a tilt is towards the sun. Bad news for the northern hemisphere when closer to January. So the pole star is now gone. January the 24th is your problem. My calculations see the axis passes through Stonehenge. It's slowly creeping towards it, which is uh, 212.7 kilometers. Two one two seven number is there, and it was also Ezekiel twenty one twenty seven. Now, if you were to invite people into your home, and across the road was a nice family, ladies would be able to come over and become friends, and have a Christmas just together and Easter. Look after each other's children, run them to school. However, if there was child molesters and homosexuals on either side of you, they would not be coming into your house, would they? Well, this house I'm talking about is the earth and it's mine. And that is why there'll be no homosexuals, there'll be no Judaism, there'll be no child molesters, there'll be nothing that offends. Nothing. Solomon and Gomorrah was destroyed because of the same abominations. In fact, the former bastion of Christianity, Germany, has passed laws that parents, this is little children, that the parents should masturbate their children. The National Party in 2009 uh, passed laws saying that this is what's got to be done. And the children, it's hard to believe that this is true. Children are handed booklets to take home from kindergarten, showing the parents that they must masturbate their children. The idea is to develop a child's sexuality. Now, it's also they're passing laws for child pornography is going to be made illegal. Now, to counter all this, I drove through it and looked at it with Stuns me, stuns us both. But the former bastions of Christian nations are forced to endure because of these 
Holocaust of life. They control all laws. Amazing. So with the return of a binary system, a smaller sun and planets, it has approached the solar system from the south and has been photographed by our team, shifting the position of Antarctica, which I pointed out to several videos, by rotating it up to 90 degrees, acting like a damper, stopping the Earth from So this is a normal view, it looks like a baby's head, but it is basically circular and uh, it's like a big round ship that can easily rotate. And that's what it did. So the new uh, poles are temporary, but uh, it will take months to recover, but during that time, People, evil men and women, will be begging to die because they'll be so tormented by what they're going to endure. In Australia, as of June, they're reporting um, animals, temperatures, all sorts of strange things. So the white line there is the north-south uh, axis now, and the left-right is the uh, equator, new equator. So um, along the equator, it's going to be reasonably comfortable for people to live. It's going to be very cold in New Zealand. It all can be stopped, of course. Uh, just one way to do it, and that's to uh, recognize that God is back and I'm not going to take any more of this crap. Now while I was traveling through Europe, uh, we found that um, there were two light sources. Um, one light source, uh, you can't see it. It's uh, below the spectrum of the eye, but when it bounces off uh, the moon, vehicles and so forth, it does leave a shadow because the spectrum changes a lot. So we had um, many occasions where we've seen a shadow on either side of vehicles because the light was coming from two directions. So, scripture. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months, and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion, when he striketh a man, and in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Revelation 9, 4, 5 and 6. If you take uh, July through to... Uh, five months, it's going to get worse and worse and worse up until Christmas and then January. Matthew 24, 29 states, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Now, what can happen here is that the new binary can move in front of the sun, you won't have any need for the sun, it's also a prophecy, because the light of God will be there, so the light of God in this case will be uh, coming from the new binary in front of the sun. The brightness of the two light sources at this time, June the 17th, 2013, this is uh, a few days ago, is so bright that there are no stars, and at this uh, there is counts of millions of chemtrails. So over the entire Earth, this is an amazing feat of engineering when you consider what they're doing. All the planes they've had to set up, it takes years to do it, and to develop the chemicals. It's extraordinary. 
So they're trying to stop people looking up seeing the stars, but unfortunately there's communication with the internet. And we have people who do see the sky and do report to us what is supposed to be there isn't. So as the new access is home by England, it's latitude at uh, 51, 53. We have set the computer over our location in Rome, but the distance the axis shift has moved is the same approximately 52 degrees at around 12 to 13 degrees south latitude. So all around the world is shifted. So what we do is we set the computer up to what we should be looking at. So if we go down to things all over the country like that, by the shift in 52 degrees, we then see what is there and what we'll be looking at. See Virgo, Virgin and Saturn. And now we have the moon at an altitude of 66.07. Never happened before in history, but now it is. And last night the, the sky was clear, the moon was clearly seen. And no Saturn or Virgin, of course. Where it is supposed to be one moon width away from Saturn. So this confirms the shift. Um, as I said, from the Zodiac computer from Angola, the astronomy program is not connected to the internet and cannot be altered and proves the shift. Now there are programs that are available on the internet, Stellarium is one, and of course it is showing events normal. It is supposed to be live feed. So measuring the moon where it should be at altitude 36.25 and where it actually is 64.98 is a shift of 28.73. That number in Hebrew is to kill, slaughter, animals or men. Now I calculated the Earth tilt at not at uh, 23.4 but a shift um, to 17.1. 8 degrees, a decrease of 6.22. Now I mentioned this 622 number, we have seen it hundreds of times come up in the calculations we do. So therefore, uh, it is confirmed in that sense that I am correct in my calculation. It means to destroy fully, die, loss, ma, perish. And 51.23 degrees off normal tilt plus the 6.22 is 50. 7.5. This takes us to Ezekiel because the number overturn, overturn, overturn in Ezekiel. And this is the 2127, which is as the people who have been watching us are aware that this is a very key number. Um, it's the age difference between two of my daughters, for example. 2.127 years, it's in First Chronicles 5 13, and my fifth daughter and my youngest daughter. The numbers stretch out from there to uh, amazing um, consistency. And that means to overturn, and uh, the earth is the furnace, literally. The name Ezekiel in the Hebrew is uh, 3168. And of course, in Greek, most of you are familiar with my work. The name is to be Lord, 800 Jesus, 888, and and the Pope will be 31680 days old on my birthday in January 2015. Now, as that odd as all this is, we are dealing with creation. Um, universities have been dominated by Zionism for decades, and years, and centuries, depending on what country. And of course, all behind that is uh, Judaism. So the smaller sun is giving off light, but we can't see it. But what happens is that the animals can see it. So reports from Australia, all farm animals are trying to get out of the barn. Feral goats are everywhere. Outdoor cats want to get into their own homes. Temperatures are reported at uh, minus one degree Celsius on the news, but they are in fact minus 11 Celsius, which is 20 degrees different. As usual, the media is not telling the truth, they never do. 
So July, the distance to the sun at 94.2 million miles, but at uh, 92 million miles, and uh, in January, 94.2 million the uh, move towards the sun in the new pole is almost the same as January 2036. Yet yeah, prophecy tells us only the evil will suffer. Repentance will end it. Even the earth will write itself for uh, every knee shall bow. Do that first, then the earth will settle down to a paradise situation. It is also the Daniel firm prophecy, Daniel son of man, Jesus. So the mention of son of man and Daniel is referring to the son of Jesus. Daniel 3.16, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king of Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer these in this matter. How to set the if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Look at that. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, as he throws them into a furnace, right? Beats it to seven times the temperature of the furnace, the normal operating temperature. And in the midst of the fire, they have no hurt because they are with. And who is the Son of God? Jesus. And who is Jesus? Yahweh. And who is Yahweh? 